Still on schooling abroad, our next feature is about Ozi Akerele. The 24-year-old came to the UK in January this year to resume his studies at the Coventry University. Now, just a few days after his arrival in the UK, Ozi went missing and has not been found since then. We lend our voice to the quest of finding this young man who was last spotted on January 31st after a social outing. The dominant narrative explaining his disappearance is that he must have missed his way home considering he was new to the environment. His mother has been to the UK to launch an appeal to find him. She's met with the university authorities and she's met with the police as well. In a solidarity move, a good number of students and sympathizers held a peaceful march in Coventry to create awareness on the issue and also register their displeasure with the fact that the incident was made public roughly a month after. Begging the question, are international students getting the amount of support they require considering the resources they bring to the table? Today we're trying to create awareness regarding the missing student of Coventry University. We represent the student voice from the student union myself and we're not happy first and foremost that a student has missed for one month and it's taken the university and the city a month before they raise awareness. So we've come out by ourselves to raise more awareness and to let people know that one of us has missed and we do care about every individual in Coventry University. All churches joining forces along with friends. Um, hanging on to positive expectation that we'll still find him. Uh, we are very hopeful that he's still alive. We are very hopeful that we'll find him. So we're raising awareness so Coventry can know and whoever has an information can contact the police. Whatever medium that we use, we need to do this a lot more. So the more people that see this on our social media, the more we can get someone to come out and tell us his whereabouts or when last saw him. We are relying on uh efforts from the police and uh, well-wishers and um, any good Samaritan who could help in the lead to, you know, finding him. This is a six foot two tall man, a full-fledged adult that has been missing. We don't know his whereabouts. There's nothing to say um, what has happened. We don't really understand what is going on. From what some of the CCTV footage that we've seen, we've seen they said um, he spoke with some taxi drivers. Have they, have they found who the specific taxi driver is and what he was asking them about. We've not heard anything about that. It beats my imagination how a six foot two tall man could just disappear overnight. So we're out here trying to alert the city of Coventry that one of our own is missing. And we hope and sincerely hope that he is found and not just found, but he is found alive. The CCTVs, even if they say they are blind spots, there are still CCTVs around the blind spots. They can track that. The movement at 3 a.m. was very limited, so you can actually track down the people walking around at that point in time. So there's a lot you can do regarding technology, tracking his phone. At the time you got the report that was missing, and till now, there's still a lot you can actually do. The jackets that got missed, that got removed at some point in time, you can do a lot and walk, walking into that. So I don't, I think they should work harder on that. In a related development of missing loved ones and solidarity marches, April 14th this year made it one year since over 200 schoolgirls were kidnapped in Chibok. Nigerians in the UK and other nationals joined thousands world over to remember this heartbreaking event. Various groups like the Nigerian Women in Diaspora Leadership Forum have held regular rallies in front of the High Commission since the abduction. 
And it was no different this time. President of the Forum, Jennifer Okeke, says regardless of age, status or gender, every Nigerian life should be treated with value. When this happened, everybody was on board. Bring Back a Girl was in a phenomenon. Everybody was talking about it and we had high hopes. We never ever dreamt that these girls are going to remain in captivity up until this moment. So it's been quite a difficult one and challenging too because we have been coming out every 14th of every month in front of the embassy here campaigning to bring back the girls. News happen every day and when they happen, they all, uh, you know, things like that become old news. But we're talking about 276 girls and all the women who have since been abducted after that incident. So it's been a very difficult year. I'm so pleased that Nigerians have stood up and spoken for themselves. They spoke for themselves in the sense that they're saying, we are the people that own power. We can do more for ourselves. We matter. Because the attitude of this current leadership and the past leadership of Nigeria had been quite passive when it comes to protection of human lives. And as far as I'm concerned, as I said to you earlier, your life is worth as much value as you put on it. Just before we go, here's some sights and sounds of London. Nothing like a good street dance to light in your world. You never know what you find on the corner of London Street. And that's it on Foreign Dispatches for today. Thank you for staying with us. Hope you enjoyed it. You can participate in this program by becoming a dispatch rider of sorts. So find us on Twitter. Send us an email. If you're in the UK, let us know what's happening around you. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What do you think we should be talking about? If you're outside the UK, what would you like to know? What are your questions? We're interested. Let's have them. You also don't want to miss the next edition of Foreign Dispatches where we'll be looking at the forthcoming UK elections through the eyes of people and their experiences. As May 7th approaches, what are your thoughts? What are your expectations? Let us know before then. Thanks for watching. I'm Doris Okenwa. See you soon and keep well.